you're the kind of person who really struggles to know what to get anyone for Christmas. Like me, like honestly, I am not the best present giver and it low key stresses me out every Christmas. Some people just have a gift when it comes to present giving. They're so good at it. They know exactly what to get people, but my mind goes completely blank. So if you're anything like me, I thought I would put together a few gift ideas for under 25 pounds each. A lot of these things are actually under 10 pounds as well, which is amazing. And hopefully this helps you decide what to get some of your friends and family members this Christmas. Please let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a higher end version of this video, maybe gifts under £100 or gifts under £50, depending on what anyone's budget is. I would definitely be open to having a look and creating one of those for a higher budget as well. But today we are starting off with the under £25 gift guide. I'm going to kind of section this out for the beauty lovers, the skincare lovers, the home decor lovers, the game lovers, things like that to hopefully make it a little bit easier for you. I've got a star Starbucks iced caramel macchiato in my Taylor Swift mug, which actually, this mug would be such a perfect gift for a Swifty. I don't know if they're still available, but I just got this one from the Odeon. Anyways, let's start out with beauty. A lot of us have people in our lives who are obsessed with beauty, skincare, that kind of thing. So the first item that I actually picked up, I saw this in Marks and Spencers and I was immediately like, yes, this is such a perfect present. It is absolutely beautiful. I wish they did it in a bunch of different colors, but so far we have only got this lilac pink shade, but this is a scalloped makeup bag. Now I am going to put the prices of everything on screen, so be sure to look out for that. But this one was £7.50, such an amazing present idea. And if you wanted to keep this present under £25, you could still do that, but you could add a couple of things to the makeup bag. Like if you've got a skincare lover, I am in love with this moisturiser. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense 72 Hours Lipid Replenishing Hydrator. My skin was getting super dry. Every time I put makeup on, I could see it going into the lines of my forehead. And I honestly thought that I just aged really quickly. I was like, what is going on? I know I'm approaching 30 next year, but I shouldn't have aged this much in the last six months. It just turns out that my skin was very dry and this has replenished it completely. I'm seeing a lot less makeup settling into my lines and I'm so happy about it. But this is actually a tester. Now I bought this in Marks and Spencers as well. So you could literally just go to the same shop, pick these two things up and put one inside of the other but this is a tester size which I think is always a great idea when it comes to skincare don't purchase the full size for someone unless you know that they love it I just think this would be such a lovely gift but if you're buying for someone who maybe likes more of the beauty side of things I want to recommend these nail polishes these are the new OPI holiday range genuinely genuinely love these nail polish and can't recommend them enough I think they're such a great gift so let's start out with these two shades this is the one that I've got on my nails so this could be maybe for someone one who's a little bit more bold with their nails. This one is called Shaking My Sugar Plums and I love how these two go together. Nice purple vibe, but this is a metallic purple shade with a pink undertone and it is honestly so pretty, my new favorite shade. This is also a lovely shade. This one is called Put On Something Ice and it's a lilac-y icy shade of glitter. This would actually be really nice over the top of the one I'm wearing. Tempted to put that on later and see what it looks like. But yeah, lovely glitter, perfect for the holiday season. So we've got a perfect, perfect, perfect red shade called Rebel with a Claws. I feel like you can't go wrong with a red. Red looks great on everyone and this is such a lovely warm shade of red. And then if you know someone a little bit more daring with their nails, this is called Peppermint Bark and Bite. I love that name. This is a sparkly black. It's got tiny micro silver glitters in it. So pretty. So yeah, you could gift this and a nail polish for again under £25. I think that is a great gift. But if you know someone who loves fragrances, this is another option that you could do. This was also from Marks and Spencers. I found some really good bits in there. And this is their Eau de Toilette in Nectar and Passion Fruit with Mandarin Passion fruit rose and amber scents to it this is absolutely gorgeous i got the full size first of all love the bottle i think it looks really classy but this smells delicious i'm actually going to keep this one for myself because i love it so much so let's remind myself i would say it's mostly musky and fruity but you do get that undertone of a little bit of rose peeking through which makes it quite interesting i've never really smelt a fragrance like this before it's got a lot to it and i really recommend you go in to smell this in general but i do think this would be a lovely gift as well and would again fit inside the makeup bag. Back to the skincare lovers, I thought this was a really great gift, again from Marks and Spencers. This is £19.50 and it's a rose quartz face roller and gua sha. If you've been on TikTok this year, you will have probably seen the trend of the gua sha. I actually bought one and then 
forgot to use it because I'm terrible <laughs> with keeping up with skincare. But if you do know someone who loves skincare, this is such a lovely gift. How to use the roller. It says after cleansing, apply your favorite serum, oil or moisturizer to the face and gently move the roller across your face, moving outwards from your nose. Can also be used on the neck in an upwards motion towards the chin. And then the gua sha as well, you use on your jawline, cheekbones, and it just helps to drain the fluid out of your face and give your face a more sharper defined look. I love the packaging of this. I love the fact that it's pink. I think this is a great gift. If you guys have any gamers in your life or anyone who has a big desk, a big workspace, I love this gift idea. So this is actually from a small business run by the lovely Catherine. It's called Catnip. And this is a mouse mat. Now this is slightly over budget with it being 26 pounds, but it is the only thing that is over budget in this. So please forgive me. It is just a pound over budget, but this is a huge mouse mat. It was created for gamers. I'm not a gamer, but I use it for my desk. I've got a huge desk. I hate my keypad sliding around everywhere. So I bought this for myself and honestly can't recommend it enough. It's great. And I love the pattern on it. It's nice and autumnal, but she has a lot of different designs for these mouse mats. So I'm sure you would find one that would fit whoever you were buying it for. Again, sticking with the gamers, this is such a great present idea. In my opinion, me and my girlfriend have used this so much. This is a chessboard. First of all, I think chessboards are very aesthetic looking. If you have it on your coffee table or your dining table, just open. I think they look really cool and they're a great piece of home decor, but I've got really into chess this year. I find it so relaxing. It just gets me off my phone for however long I'm playing for. Helps me connect to the person I'm playing with. It's just a really nice bonding experience and can't recommend this board enough. It was from Amazon and it folds in half so you can actually take it places with you and inside you have all of the chess pieces super compact it also comes with round checkers pieces but i've never played that i need to look into the rules of that but yeah if you know anyone who loves chess in your life i love this board and i will link it below as well as everything in this video let's go ahead and move on to the self-care category now the first item for self-care that i think is a necessity especially in winter it's a hot water bottle i think anybody would be grateful to get a hot water bottle especially especially if it's this cute. Look how cute it is. This is from Primark. They have so many designs. They had a sloth, a lamb, a rabbit, I think. I personally love mine for when I'm on my period and I'm getting cramps. I went into Next recently and saw that they now have Bath & Body Works in their stores. Bath & Body Works is such a 2015 YouTube throwback for me. I used to watch all of the American YouTubers go and do their candle hauls around this time of year. So I'm so chuffed to have it in the UK now, although their candles are quite expensive but they do smell so good. Anyways, I found these foaming hand soaps. These were something that I was so jealous of when I used to see the American YouTubers do their hauls. I always wanted the foaming hand soaps and now we have them in England. So this one is in the scent Winter Candy Apple. This smells delicious. Oh my God, it's such a warm apple scent. That smells really fresh as well. Then we have this one, which is my personal favorite. This is Cozy Vanilla Almond. This smells like the most delicious bakery you've ever smelled in your life. Oh my God, it's so warm, so vanilla-y, but it has got that hint of almond, so it's not super sickly sweet. Sometimes I find vanilla to be a bit over the top. Really, I would be thrilled to get this as a present because it smells so damn good. It's got notes of vanilla orchid, sugared almond, and sweet musk. The winter candy apple has got red apples, winter rose petals, and candied oranges. Like I showed you with the makeup bag, you could put together a little self-care box for someone. I also found these in Bath & Body Works. Now these are four pounds each, which is crazy. I think that is so expensive, but they had five for 15 pounds. So if you've got a few friends that you're buying for, that works out at three pounds per hand gel. These are tiny little hand gels. And in a post COVID world, I think it's very important to have hand sanitizer available. So I've got winter candy apple, vanilla bean Noel, such a nice scent, gingerbread bakery, twisted peppermint, and frozen lake. And again, I think these are a great gift, would work really well as part of a self-care basket. Maybe you could gift a soap and a hand gel or a couple of hand gels. Love that idea. And then the last self-care item that I've got, I found this in HomeSense. This was £7.99 and this is actually a bath pillow. Now I thought this was a great idea to gift someone. If you've got a friend who loves taking baths, often 
They get a lot of bath bombs given to them for Christmas and I thought this was more of a unique present take to gift them. This is a really nice and poofy cushion. And yeah, you just hang it on your bath. What a great idea for a present. This is something that I just wouldn't think to buy myself, but if I got gifted this, I'd be like, hell yes, what a win. I'm running out of space. <laughs> Let's move on to the home category. So if you know anyone who loves home decor, obviously a great present to gift them is a mug. I've got two mug options here. Your friends and family members love having a cup of tea or a nice warm coffee or just a warm drink in general. A mug is a great gift idea, never gets old. This one is from Tiger and it's just a pink Santa and this one was from TK Maxx and it's like a king a Santa King not too sure but it's very festive and very cute if you want something a little bit more original than a mug this was from next and it's a ceramic tea light holder this is so beautiful I know that my mom loves this so I'm actually gonna give this to her for Christmas but you just pop a tea light in this and it sparkles all around with the little holes in it it's got some houses on I love that the bottom it's not actually wood it's still part of the ceramic but it looks like wood another great idea from next is this set of three mini vases these were 18 pounds love that they come already pre-packaged in a box you could either wrap this nicely or just shove it into a nice gift bag that's a super easy present idea three beige and terracotta toned pots these would look so great in my home i think i might keep these for myself I've had so much fun filming this video because I've been picking out things that I would love to keep. So now like the bath cushion, I'm like, maybe I'll keep that. <laughs> I don't think you can ever go wrong with gifting a home decor lover a vase. They are a staple. Another thing that you cannot go wrong gifting someone who loves home decor, a candle. This one was from TK Maxx. They have the best candle options available. This is in the shade Tuber Rose and Orchid. It's a very nice fresh scent, actually. I could imagine this in like a bathroom. To me, this looks like an anthropology candle. I think it's bloody gorgeous. It's glass and comes with this glass lid. And I think after you've burned this candle, it would be such a great decor piece. You could put cotton buds in it, cotton pads, use it in a bathroom, a kitchen, use it for your coffee granules. The last thing in this home decor section is this Le Creuset mixing bowl, RRP 38 pounds, and I got it for 16.99 at TK Maxx. TK Maxx have a lot of Le Creuset pots and pans, and I think they always make a great gift. It's such a high-end brand that oftentimes people wouldn't really buy for themselves. So I think this makes a lovely gift, especially if you know someone who loves baking. A nice new baking bowl with a spout. I think a spout is essential for a baking bowl so you can pour it out super easily. Moving on to animal lovers. If you guys know anyone with a cat or a dog specifically? I found these in the middle of Lidl and I thought, God, what a great idea for a present. These are door stops. Now we've got a cute little dog, but my favorite, obviously, is the cute little cat. Look how adorable these are. I was actually gifted a doorstop for Christmas one year and I've loved and used it ever since. I think it's a really underrated gift to give someone and especially if you know an animal lover, these would go down an absolute treat, specifically if their dog or cat was gray. Food items, if you know a foodie lover, let's jump into what I think would be a great idea. These are all from Marks and Spencers and the first thing is this big mix, classic selection of chocolate covered toffees, caramel, caramels and creams. I don't think I've ever seen M&S do this before, but you get a mix of salted caramel, coffee truffle, hazelnut and caramel, milk cream, cream toffee, caramel fudge, strawberry cream, orange cream, biscuit and caramel, and butterscotch eclair. Don't they just sound delicious? can confirm that they are because I have already tucked into these and I would be very happy to receive this as a gift. I guess these next gifts kind of fall into the home decor category as well, but these are from Marks and Spencers too. These are so great, especially for the price. So they are light up little houses that you can keep as keepsakes. This white one has got shortbread in, in the shapes of little houses. And this blue one has got chocolate chip cookies in the shape of stars. I love these together. Once you've taken Taking the sticker off them. I think they would look gorgeous as home decor. Tempted to honestly get myself some because I do love the idea of these as home decor, but I need to stop buying things for myself. And the last gift idea kind of could fall into the self-care category, but I am just in love with these pajamas from Primark. And you can never go wrong with gifting someone pajamas. Everyone wears pajamas pretty much. They're just cream with little autumnal colored flowers on, and I love them. They're so soft. They 
wash so well. Some Primark pajamas tend to shrink. These ones just don't shrink. They wash like an absolute dream. And these are the trousers that I've got for them. Just wide leg trousers with pockets. Cannot go wrong. So that is the end of my under 25 pound gift guide. Let me know if you found this helpful in the comments. And if you would like me to do an under 50 pounds or an under 100 pounds, gift guide for anyone who's got a bit more budget to play with, let me know also in the comments. If you're a brand and you would like to feature any products in that upcoming video, let me know as well, message me on Instagram. I would be happy to showcase what's on offer out there. I think these videos are so helpful. They've helped me a lot in the past when I've watched other people's, so fingers crossed. You found some good ideas from this one, but I'm gonna head off now. Remember, I'm uploading every day in November, so don't forget to give me a follow. If you wanna see my vlogs and my videos this month, give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you very soon. Bye.